Tooltip guides are a great way to highlight specific features, maybe even a new feature, of your application and provide users with contextual help right when and where they need it. This short video will provide a quick overview of developing a tooltip guide for your users. With that, let's jump right in. We'll start by logging into Pendo. From the dashboard screen, we'll go to Guides and choose Manage Guides in-app at the top of the page to launch the designer. Our application loads in the designer, allowing us to directly place guides in the interface. Let's select Add New Guide and then select the Tooltip option. You'll notice now that a red rectangle follows the cursor around the screen. The Pendo Designer is picking up every CSS element that we might want to attach the guide to. In this scenario, I'm looking to highlight the sorting feature. This feature is toggled using the drop-down menu at the top right of the page. To attach a new guide, we'll just click on the element on the screen. In the menu that opens, we can add a name for the guide and add in some content. Guide content can be entered directly or coded using HTML in the dialog. Now we can adjust some of the display settings for the guide, starting with the position and size. We'll have this guide rendered to the left of the element. You can also target the guide to a particular group of users by selecting a segment. Maybe you want to focus this tooltip on only new users, or maybe only existing users. In this case, we'll target the guide to only show to new users. You can either select a pre-existing segment or create a new one specifically for the guide. Next, we can specify some additional location details for the guide. Pendo will attach the guide to the closest CSS element it can find, but in some cases, you may want to specify the parent of that element or a custom CSS tag. Activation allows us to select how users will trigger the guide. In this case, we'll trigger it from a small help icon that'll be added next to the drop-down menu. With expiration dates, you're able to automatically stop this tooltip from appearing after a specified amount of time. Let's say, for example, you have a new feature you want to highlight. You may be highlighting a new feature, however, you'd want it to stop appearing after the first two months because at that point, the feature is really not new any longer. Now that we've finished defining the tooltip, we can save it and publish it within our application. To publish the guide, click the small drop down menu and select Public. This will push the new guide into production. Now if we go into our application, we can see the little help icon to the right of the drop-down menu. And when we mouse over, the guide pops up showing the additional help for new users that we just added through Pendo. Jumping back into Pendo, we can look at some of the details and results of our published guide. Here we can see the details of the tooltip, including who is eligible to view the tooltip, activation methods, and any element tagging. Below the screenshot, you'll see the total guide views, number of visitors, and eligible visitors. Farther down, you have a graph of total unique views. You'll see this is equal to your total number of visitors. The final section here is a list of all viewers. You'll see we have the visitor ID, date of the view, and status. That's all there is to it. With Pendo, it's easy to create and add contextual help for your users directly in your application. For additional help, please go to support.pendo.io. It's a great resource for many of your most frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching.